Hey guys, Peter Hurley here. If you haven't seen me before, I'm the headshot guy. I talk headshots all the time. I am the founder and, and owner of the headshot crew. And guess what? We're gonna talk headshot lighting today. Tip number one is probably my favorite tip. It's a quote by Walt Whitman. Point your nose towards the sun and let the shadows fall behind you. For photographers, this is huge. If we side light people, we get all sorts of shadows. For headshot photography, you want the face lit. You want the face lit frontally so you get a lot of light in the eyes, you get color out of the eyes. And I started by shooting natural light. So we're gonna talk about that in tip number two. Tip number two is never underestimate the power of natural light. Why would you do that? I built my business for four years out of my apartment and people always ask me, oh, I need all these fancy schmancy lights and I need a studio. No, I did four years in my apartment, sitting my butt on a windowsill, shooting natural light. So you guys can do it. Never underestimate the power of natural light. Get good at natural light, figure out natural light, and then emulate it in the studio. So if you have a rainy day or it's the winter or it's cold, this is all I did. That was my thought process. Well, I've got to figure out how to do it. I did it in a tiny little apartment. You can too. Work on your natural light. Once you start building your business and have the funds to buy the fancy smancy stuff, then you can buy it. Tip number three, guys, when you do go to actual lighting your subject, I really love to shoot continuous light. Why? I could see what's going on. I don't have a flash disrupting my banter between me and my subject. I have continuous light get, getting those pupils down, which we want real estate in the eye. If somebody has really beautiful blue eyes, guess what? If their pupil's big because you blew a strobe off in a dark room, you're gonna lose all that wonderful blue. So I like to light them really bright with continuous, get that pupil down. I get a lot of blue out of my eyes and a lot of people book me just for the color coming out of their eyes. So continuous light. Guys, number four, this is one of my favorite laws. It is my favorite law, but I'm self-taught, so I didn't know what it was. But if you go online, you Google inverse square law, Peter Hurley F-stoppers, you will get the best explanation of the inverse square law that has ever been out there. And it wasn't even me, the F-stoppers taught me it because I didn't know I shot by the inverse square law. Rule of lighting that's so huge. You want your lights really close. I like really soft light. You want your lights really close to your subject so you get it really soft and you can really control those shadows. But if you get too close, you get in front of light convergence. So you gotta be careful, but get those lights in there. Get them tight. You're gonna soften up the light in the face. It's gonna be beautiful. Study the inverse square law. Know how it works. Get it done. You utilize it for your photography. Guys, number five is it's my thing. It's like the thing that caused the thing that caused the thing that created the thing that got me very successful at Hedgehog Photography, it made me millions of dollars at it over the years, my signature triangle setup. What I did was I was thinking if I sat on a windowsill and all the light came behind me, how do I get the lights in a studio situation to do something like that? So I set them up first as a square in a window and then I shot through the window. And then I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Let's make it smaller. Let's really get the lights in there. And in order to crank the lights all together, I did a triangular setup that allows me to get that beauty light on my subject, especially my buddy Phil underneath. My beauty light from underneath is probably the thing that, that uh, stood me out from the crowd. I don't like shadows. I like shooting women with beauty light shadowless. I shot guys the same way. And then I started to mix it up with, with shadows with guys. But guys, try a triangular setup with whatever you're doing. You can do it with strips of any sort, whether you're shooting continuous that, that are situated in like a one by three format or one by two format or any strip box that does it. It allows you to get those in there. You can do feathering and stuff like that. And it's amazing. I don't think there's anything better. And if there is, show me, I wanna see it because then I'll start shooting it, but I haven't found anything better. Have you? Guys, lighting's huge. It's what we do as photographers. It's our thing. So I hope you enjoy those five tips and I really would like to see your work. If you are a headshot photographer or interested in headshot photography, check me out on headshotcrew.com. Just go there and you get a free trial. You get full access to the site for an entire week, week's worth of videos for me, and you can get involved with our contests, which are often sponsored by B&H. They've been an awesome sponsor for me. So come check it out. I'm an open book. Any questions that you have, I will answer. You can always reach out to me on Instagram, at Peter underscore Hurley. I answer all my DMs. And if you're interested in making a living at photography, I wanna help you because I feel like a guy just lucky enough to pick up a camera and it's been awesome. It's been an awesome ride. It should be for you too. And with that, three, two, one, shebang.